session so i welcome all my guests so today the speaker for the first session is kathy balaver she is the mechanical engineer student and right now she is the student pilot so she will be having the first session so i hope you will learn a lot from her so let's get started over to you kathy thank you Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Kathy Parelkar, and I'm a student pilot, and I'm also studying mechanical engineering. So today we'll be discussing classifications of aircrafts. So firstly, I would like to begin by saying what an aircraft is. An aircraft is any machine that can derive support in the atmosphere from the reactions of air, except the reactions that go against the surface of the air, uh, surface of the earth. Now, aircrafts uh, are usually divided into two major categories, heavier than air, which is an aerodyne, and lighter than air, which is an aerostat. Now, heavier than air and aerodyne is mainly all your aircrafts that can generate lift using the atmospheric aerodynamics. And aerostat is usually that, uh, that if they can either be powered or non-powered, and it is uh, they usually use a buoyant gases to gen, uh, maintain their lift. So now, like you can see, we have um, in heavier than air, we have non-engine and engine. Similarly, in lighter than air, we have engine and non-engine. So first, we'll start with lighter than air, which is an aerostat. So the first aerostat we have is an airship. Now, an airship is a power-driven lighter than air aircraft. It is, self, it is a self-propelled machine which means that it uses, uh, it uses its own power for its movement. And there are three main types of airships. You have your non-rigids uh, non or blimps. You have semi-rigids and rigids. And all these three, um, all three types of airships, they have four major parts. First is the cigar-shaped uh, balloon that you see, which is filled with a gas that is lighter than air. Then you have a car or a gondola, which is uh, strung underneath the balloon, which carries your crew or passengers. Then you have an engine and drive propellers and horizontal and vertical stabilizers to steer the aircraft in any direction. Next, uh, these are some other images of an airship. Then we have a free balloon. Now, a free balloon is a balloon which can be uh, made to ascend by the use of a ballast or and to descend by the release of gas. And um, you can it's not a guided flight, which means you can't really control its flight. And um, it is different from a hot air balloon because a hot air balloon uses a fire propulsion and you can reduce and increase the flame according to your needed height. And this is also different from an airship because in an airship you have an engine and it is a self-propelled flight, whereas this is not self-propelled. Next, we have a kite balloon. This is also called a kite toon. And it is tethered. It is a tethered aircraft which obtains some of its uh, lift dyna dynamically and some of its lift from a heavier than air aircraft, uh, which is a kite. Next, we have examples of heavier than air aircrafts, such as aerodynes. Uh, first is a kite. Uh, all of us know what a kite is. We've used it as a child also. Uh, kite is a tether, is a tethered heavier than air aircraft with uh, wing surfaces that react against the air to create lift and drag forces. Then we have a glider or a sailplane. Now, um, this is, again is a non-engine uh, aircraft, and it's also a fixed-wing aircraft. A glider is a fixed-wing uh, winged aircraft, which is supported in flight by the dynamic reactions of air against its lift, against its flight surfaces, and whose uh, free flight does not depend on an engine. And glider is mostly used as a spot, uh, particularly the sailplane, which is a type of a glider. It is uh, used for leisure activities and for sports. These are more images of sailplane and gliders. 
then we have a fixed wing airplane now a fixed wing airplane is an aircraft that is obviously heavier than air and it is a flying machine which is capable of flight using its wings that generate lift caused by aircrafts that move forward in airspeed and um, the lift is also generated by the shape of the wings and um, a land plane uh, is an aircraft which only uh, lands and which can only take off and land from a land surface not water or snow and um, the, you have many examples of land planes you have your normal Boeing 777, like basically the aircrafts that you fly from also, like commercial flying aircrafts. And these are some more examples. Then we have a fixed wing seaplane. Now a seaplane is a plane that can land and take off from water. And the first example that we have is an amphibian. And and uh, true to its word, you, uh, an amphibian can take off and land. But that we have is, this is another amphibian picture. And then the other example that we have is a float plane. Now a float plane is a type of a seaplane with one or more uh, slender floats that you see that are under the fuselage that help the plane to float on the sea surface, obviously. And the fuselage is like the main structure of your airplane. These are more examples of seaplanes, float type seaplanes. And then we have VTOL. VTOL is basically vertical takeoff and landing aircrafts. These, uh, this classification uh, includes a fixed wing aircraft, like you can see here, and also uh, rotary wing uh, aircrafts, like your helicopter or your gyrocopter. So these aircrafts basically can land and take off on a vertical axis. So they don't uh, usually have much of a lateral movement. They either land and take off vertically and they hover a lot. And uh, yeah, this is another example of a VTOL. Then we have surface effect aircraft. These are also called ground effect air aircrafts or wing and ground effect craft. It is a vehicle that is able to move over the surface by gaining support from the reaction of air against the surface of the earth or water. So this doesn't really touch the surface of any uh, object like the earth or the water. It basically hovers at a very low ground distance and it uses the reactions between the, basically the airflow that is created between the fuselage and the ground uh, to move forward. And I would like to show a video on this right now. So just a second. Uh, so. so. Um, so, uh, thank you, Thiyati, for the presentation. Uh, I hope you have got a lot of knowledge, and uh, I would like to have a little feedback from my audience also. So, uh, can you please tell me that how did you find her presentation? Uh, hi, ma'am. This is Kitana, and your presentation was very nice. You clearly tell what is the uh, role and everything. The videos are also so genuinely neat and perfect. Thank you. Okay, so now we are having one more small video for you. So this is all based for uh, all types of civil aircrafts. So I'm going to share my screen.